I'm going to use a 12 millimeter socket set here and a crescent wrench to remove the OEM exhaust. This is a Nebo tool, a little lighter weight, easier to work with. Same 12 millimeter. I'm going to thread off this nut off the back here. And leave that bolt in place while we uh, get our socket into the center there. There's a Another 12 millimeter bolt holding the OEM exhaust to the underside of the engine. Then we're going to use our lighter weight Nebo tool to fully remove this bolt. On the other side of the engine, there's a similar bolt. Up front, I was testing the socket there. It looks like that's 12 millimeters as well. We're going to check. Yep. We're going to remove these uh, bolts. These are the flange up here holding the exhaust to the exit of the engine, the exhaust header. Um, this flange loosens and we take the bolt all the way out. Here I'm unwrapping the new Zoom exhaust. It's um, bundled pretty tightly together there. Uh, a lot of plastic wrap and so forth, protecting all of the nicely polished pieces. Just use brute force to pull that tape off of there and remove these metal pieces. Each one of these tubes is individually shrink wrapped and the muffler itself is very nicely packaged in layers of protective foam. I'm going to use a knife to cut the shrink wrap off each one of these 304 stainless steel tubes. Not sure what I was doing with the camera there, but just trying to unwrap it. Now that it's all unwrapped, we have to put the pieces together. This one goes into the top like that. The other piece plugs into the bottom, like that. In this bag of hardware, we find the springs that we're going to attach. Here's one spring. We get it attached. Now I have to figure out how to get it attached. I've never done this before. I found that using the other spring and a tool, I could pull the spring with the other spring and then load it onto the welded tab and link the first spring. Now on the second spring I use a needle nose pliers and attach the spring. Not at first. Second try seems to get it. I double check. It doesn't look quite right but I guess that'll do. Seems to be okay. I fiddled with the spring a little trying to make it seat. Seems to be alright. All the pieces are nice and snug. Yeah, double check. Now I'm installing the pipe. Unfortunately, I forgot to move the camera for this section. So I time lapsed it. We're going to fly around. You'll see me moving around a lot there. I'm bolting everything up, making sure everything fits. Everything's snug and tight. Double check all my connections. Not so bad, it went by pretty quickly. Here I'm polishing the pipe with a clean microfiber cloth. It's bright green, my favorite color, just like the trim work on the bike. The stainless polish is up real nice. Nice and shiny, it's an absolutely beautiful piece. Make sure to get every different part of it. Now we're gonna fire it up. Listen to that exhaust note. Isn't that fantastic? In reality, I let it warm up for three minutes, but to cut the video short here, I edited out most of that. You can hear the electronic fuel injection system uh, varying the idle speed. Go ahead and listen to that change. Here it comes. It speeds it up a little bit during the warm-up procedure. Oh, now it's starting to warm up. You can see vapor coming out of the exhaust, kind of smoke. Give it a rip.
It's a lot louder than the OEM exhaust system. Cool. I like, like it. Turn it off. Thanks for watching. The Zoom exhaust is installed.